ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to IPW. It's another Thursday, and another great, great wrestling show is planned for all of you here in New York, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first match of the evening. The IPW television champion, Jackson Wright, will be in action against Austin Famous in match numero uno. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in our second match of the evening, we're going to have Christopher Bishop going one-on-one -on -one with the heartbreaker, Tommy Hart. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is match number three. This is match three. We have Eddie Danger, the most dangerous man in promotion, the dangerous one, going one-on-one -on -one with Jack Smith. Jack Smith, of course, trying to get just a little bit more momentum for his match with Jacob Buck Sunday at SmackDown. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event. We just talked about Jack Smith getting some momentum for his match at SmackDown. Well, this man needs more momentum. This man has another match at SmackDown. This man is the Superman Danny Myers. And tonight, he's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the ace of wrestling, of course, ace. But, of course, right now, we are going to move into our first match of the evening. Jackson Wright, the IPW television champion, against Austin Famous. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes your Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Here comes Jackson Wright. Jackson Wright, of course, carrying down that Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship across his shoulder here. Gotta believe Jackson Wright is not going to be the uh, the happiest camper after the information that he received last week from Prince Morrison. Now, if you didn't see last week's episode, let me quickly inform you that information that I am inferring to states that Jackson Wright will defend that championship, the IPW TV Championship, at SmackDown against Prince Morrison in a ladder match. You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a ladder match between Jackson and Prince Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, we just heard those words by Jackson Wright uh, blaming whatever happens during this match on Prince Morris. And now I'm not sure exactly what uh, what Jackson has planned, but we'll have to see here. Now, we already know that Jackson's in the ring. Now, here comes his opponent. Here comes Austin Famous. Walking down to the ring just as styling and profiling as ever. Wearing the same role he's worn a hundred times over and still looking a hundred times better in it. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the famous one. And now, Austin Famous is in the ring. Jackson Wright is down here, and it's time 
for this match to begin. The television champion versus the famous one. Referee is going to ring the bell and let the match start. Austin Famous starting with the match with that nice neck breaker on Jackson. Jackson trying to get up to his feet, but Austin Famous trying to keep him down there. Grabbing from the back, going for a back suplex here, and it connects. Great move right there. Off the famous of a nice uh, big kick right to the, the head of Jackson right there. Keeping him down to the mat. Looks like the strategy of Austin Famous is very simple here. Just got to keep Jackson down. Keep him down to the floor as long as you can, as best you can. Now you can see Jackson Wright about to get a great big stomp on his chest. You can see Austin Famous here warming up. Looks like Austin Famous having a good day here. Getting fired up as he delivers that running neck breaker on Jackson. Now Austin delivering this nice dragon sleeper. Got the arm lock. The head scissors in. But Jackson Wright able to break out of it. Now Jackson might be able to take control here as he's measuring Austin for the nice suplex and it does connect. Now Jackson, he's about to slam Austin's face into that canvas. That's the money maker right there and that's gotta hurt more than anything. Now Jackson taking control here. We saw Austin in control during the beginning part of this matchup. It looks like Jackson trying to take control, and Austin not going to let him take control as he delivers that big knee right to the throat of Jackson Wright. Now Austin back in control here, back on the aggression, taking those legs of Jackson and stomping right on the chest. Going for another leg attack, but look, Jackson fighting out of it, just kicking Austin away with his boot. Now Austin back on his feet, just so Jackson can get a move off here. Great move right there. We call that the Air Raid Siren here in the wrestling business. Now these men chasing each other outside the ring. Looks like we're going to do a little, little ring around the ring here. Austin Famous in control here with the Irish Whip, putting Jackson in that corner. But Jackson fighting off the nice elbow, going for the clothesline, and Austin Famous able to counter with a tilt to whirl slam. You can see Austin Famous now in that corner, telling Jackson to bring it on. I think Jackson's going to bring it here as he delivers that nice backbreaker to Austin Famous. These are two cocky individuals. We'll have to see which one of them is really good and which one is just talk. Jackson Wright with that nice elbow drop. Oh, and look at that nice kick right to the abdomen right there. Now, nice arm drag right there by Austin Famous. Setting up Jackson for that nice DDT. Austin going for the pinfall here. He's got one. That was a two count right there. But as you can see, Jackson Wright was able to kick out. Now we can see Jackson trying to get back up on his feet. And now the loop has pressed and the fist raining down from the sky. From Jackson to Austin, those fists raining down. And Jackson taking control here once again with the nice suplex. You can see Jackson doing a little bit of taunting here. The crowd not enjoying it. Looks like Austin didn't enjoy it too much either as he reverses and sweeps the leg of Jackson Wright. Pinfall attempt here. Only got the one count before Jackson Wright was able to kick out. Nice kick right to the back right there performed by Austin Famous. Now you can see Austin locking in 
This great hold right here looks like it's a it's a leg a trap camel clutch here. But you can see Jackson Wright able to break out of it. But Austin Fame is still maintaining control as he delivers that nice snapmare. And a nice elbow strike right to the head. Pinfall attempted here by Austin Famous. One, two, but Jackson Wright able to kick out once again. Jackson with a nice reversal right there, attacking that arm, slamming Austin down to the ring now. Jackson with a little bit more showboating here, although I do not think this is the time for showboating. This is the time for action, for the time for wrestling, not the time for crowd pleasing. Now look at this. Nice small package here by Jackson. One, but Austin Famous able to kick out immediately. Now Jackson getting Austin back up to his feet. Have a look at that. Jackson going for a move there, but Austin able to counter it. Well, more to dodge it, I guess is a better word here. Now, Austin slamming Jackson's face into that top turnbuckle. Now, it's down to the chest. Now, look at this. Austin with a nice double axe handle right to the side of the head of Jackson Wright. Pinfall attempt here by Austin. That's one. But Jackson Wright able to kick out quicker than I thought him to be able to kick out beforehand. I guess that's on me for underestimating this great wrestler. He is our champion after all. Now we can see once again this triangle hold put on Jackson Wright by Off the Famous. We saw this hole earlier and we saw the exact same escape earlier as Jackson Wright was able to break out of it. Nice back suplex right there performed by Jackson Wright. Picture perfect right there. That's what they teach you there in a wrestling school how to perform that awesome back suplex. Now here we see Jackson Wright delivering the bad pile driver. But not gonna go for a pinfall here. Austin Famous able to reverse whatever Jackson had planned here. Arm drag right there by Jackson, reversal of his own. Oh well look at this. Jackson once again, bad pile driver. We saw it once, and there's the second time. Pinfall attempt here. One, two, three. And here is your winner decisively with two pile drivers. One pinfall. The IPW television champion, Jackson Wright. Oh, well, here we see some of the excellent moves, reversals, and finishing moves that we had throughout this matchup to make this matchup be great. Saw a lot of strikes here by Austin's Famous, such as that double axe handle. Now here we see the ending here, that second bad pile driver. The second one here, not the first one, but the second one, able to give Jackson the 1-2-3 victory. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see uh, Jackson Wright leaving the ring here. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like Jackson's going to be getting a ladder? I'm not really sure what um what, what Jackson's planning here. The match is over. It looks like Jackson is not over yet. He's not done here. Nice big punch right there. Now the referee has left. This match is over. Oh, and look at this. Looks like it's not over to Jackson. He's going to give a nice pile driver to Austin Famous. Nice reversal there by Austin trying to defend himself here. And the Lufest pressed with a fist raining down on Jackson. But Jackson just not going to let whatever Austin's planning go through. He had a plan here, but Austin had a plan of his own to stay alive here. Nice big kick there by Jackson. Now look at this. Jackson going to send Austin Famous to the outside of the ring. Now he's got the ladder set up between the ring and the barricade. Looks like Jackson has some sort of plan here. What's the bad guy thinking? Oh, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this here. Jackson getting back into the ring. Austin Famous set up on that ladder. 
dare the leg drop from the top rope through the ladder. And that's what he was talking about earlier when he said he blames Prince Morrison for what's going to happen here. I guess that's what he was talking about. You can see Austin Famous just set up to demolish. Now you can see Jackson right celebrating, getting his championship back. Jesus. Gotta believe Austin Famous is definitely hurt from that power bomb through that ladder. Now if that's what's in store for Prince Morrison, Prince Morrison's gonna need some training to fight through that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our next match. This is match number two. Christopher Bishop is in action against Tommy Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for this matchup to begin. This is going to be this man, Christopher Bishop, going one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Hart. And now you can see behind Christopher comes Henry Long. And I guess on some level, it, it is to be expected that Henry Long would be around Christopher Bishop. Henry Long did bring Christopher into IPW, I guess. Christopher is another one of Henry's protégés, just as Beast is. I guess it's a safe thing to say that Christopher Bishop may be on the long road to victory. My personal opinion, I don't really think that Christopher Bishop needs Henry Long by a side. I don't think he needs to have a manager at all. But of course, it is his decision. It appears that he sided with Henry Long. We'll see if Christopher Bishop will be able to walk out of this ring tonight. The victorious one as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Hart. Now that's Christopher Bishop in that ring. And here comes his opponent. There he is. Here comes the heartbreaker. Tommy Hart. Gotta wonder exactly what Tommy Hart's thinking about here. I'm not really sure he's taking this match too seriously due to Christopher Bishop's debut only being a couple weeks ago. If you guys do not remember, then allow me to refresh your memory for a moment. Christopher Bishop debuted about two weeks ago when he went one-on-one -on -one with the Superman Danny Myers. He was the uh, the special wrestler chosen by Henry Long and Beast. Now, he may have lost that match, but it was one hell of an effort. Well, I've got to wonder what is going to happen here between both of these men. Now Tommy Hart is in the ring, and that is Christopher Bishop also in the ring. Referee is going to ring the bell and let the match commence. Christopher Bishop starting off the match with that nice overhand shot and then the back suplex face buster right here. Nice elbow drop. Nice elbow drop right there. Now Christopher getting up Tommy. Great big slam to the mat. Great move there performed by Christopher Bishop and combining it with a nice elbow drop. Christopher still in control here. Another nice elbow drop right there by Christopher. Christopher really digging in to Tommy Hart with these elbow drops. You can see Christopher Bishop stretching out Tommy like an accordion here and stomping right on that arm. Nice big knee to the back. Pinfall attempt here by Tommy. Pinfall was not successful as we can see Christopher Bishop able to kick out. Now Tommy Hart 
Scott Christopher up, and he's gonna go for this nice suplex. Great move there by Tommy Hart, gaining control here, going for a stomp there, but Christopher Bishop able to dodge it. Now Christopher being sent to those ropes with the Irish whip. Great slam right there performed by Tommy Hart. Great big power slam. Tommy now attacking that arm. Christopher Bishop. Now Tommy going up to the second rope here. Going to fly for the body splash, but there was nobody home to receive it. Now Christopher sending Tommy into that corner. Setting up Tommy Hart on the top rope here. But Tommy able to kick him back, going for another flying maneuver. Great big clothesline from the top rope. He tried to fly for a body splash, nobody home. But there was somebody home to deliver that clothesline and to receive it. Nice running ST right there before my Christopher Bishop. Christopher with that nice reversal back on the aggression here, running STO, and then combining it immediately with a great suplex. Now Christopher setting up Tommy for the running neck twist. Now Christopher breaking the back of Tommy Hart here. Running back suplex, a great move there for my Christopher Bishop. Pinfall attempted here by Christopher. He's got one, got two, but Tommy Hart able to kick out the minute he heard the ref's hand hit the mat for that two count. Kick to the back by Christopher Bishop, not gonna end the match. We're gonna do some small time damage. Now Christopher Bishop, it looks like he's dragging Tommy center of the ring, deliver a nice draw kick to the back. Face crusher there by Tommy Hart. And a devastating clothesline right there by Tommy. Dropping Christopher to the mat. Pinfall attempt, but Christopher able to kick out before the referee even had a chance to hit the mat once. Tommy setting up Christopher in that corner, but Christopher dodged it. Now setting up Tommy in the corner, facing his back here. Now look at this. Christopher Bishop setting up Tommy Hart on the top rope, facing his back here. What are we going to see here? Looks like Tommy's going to get set flying with that super back suplex. Great move there. Now Christopher getting up Tommy. Tommy on Christopher's shoulders, and Tommy's going to face the full impact of that single knee backbreaker. Pinfall attempt here by Christopher. He's got one. That's two. And that's three. Christopher Bishop didn't even need to use his finisher. Christopher Bishop didn't even need to use the Bishop Bomb or the Bishop Buster, I believe it's called. He just needed that single knee backbreaker. A great decisive victory by Christopher Bishop. Christopher showing a lot of promise here in this matchup. We'll see if that promise is enough to become true potential as he can tap into it. I guess we hope that Henry Long will not ruin this fine young wrestler. Now here you see the ending of the match, that single knee backbreaker able to give Christopher the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Christopher Bishop. And you can see Christopher celebrating here with Henry Long and Christopher asking Henry to get something from underneath the ring. And it's a steel chair. Oh, come on, Christopher. You won the match. It was fair and square. We don't need a steel chair. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Another steel chair shot by Christopher Bishop. Looks like Henry Long wants in on this. Oh, for God's sake. This is really necessary here. Here comes Henry Long with the steel chair shot of his own. Oh, this is just despicable. We are now back from commercial 
and we are going to get into our next match. This is the third match of tonight's episode of Impact Pro Wrestling. This match will be Jack Smith going one-on-one -on -one with Eddie Danger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this match is almost ready to begin. But first, of course, we need both of our competitors, both of our wrestlers out here. And with that small pyro sequence, here comes our first wrestler, our first competitor in the form of the man of the hour. Here comes Jack Smith. Jack Smith, of course, getting ready for his matchup that he's going to have against Jacob Buck Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This coming Sunday, not next Sunday, not last Sunday, not a couple Sundays from now or a couple Sundays in the past, but this Sunday. In a few days, Jack Smith will go one-on-one -on -one with Jacob Buck. So this is Jack's last chance to get any momentum. A loss could be devastating here for Jack, just as so much as a win could be. Now we have Jack Smith in the ring, and now here comes Jack's opponent. Here comes the dangerous one. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome you all into the danger zone. Because here comes Eddie Danger. Gotta wonder what's on Eddie Danger's mind. It's gonna have this great match here with Jack Smith, no doubt. One's got to wonder exactly what it is he's thinking in terms of what this match really means to him. Going up against Jack Smith, the man who's been having a, uh, a sort of a hot streak here in Impact Pro Wrestling for the time being. It appears that Jack has uh, been quote-unquote unstoppable, so to speak. He's had a series of matches with Jacob Buck ever since IPW's very first episode. He's won all of them, and he's beaten other people that he has been stepped to the ring with. I believe that the only person that uh, has beaten Jack Smith up until this point, pardon if I'm incorrect, but I think the only person that's actually done that successfully was Adam Austin, and that time it was during the IPW World Championship Tournament, and Jack Smith was injured, well, not injured, but attacked pre-match by Jacob Buck, starting this whole feud between the both of them. Now the match has begun, referee has rung the bell, and you can see, starting this match off with some wrestling here, some good old-fashioned wrestling. Oh, look at that. Eddie Danger back, Jack into the corner, referee separated them, and Jack Smith delivered that nice slap. And you can see Eddie Danger not happy with that, delivering that great move. Trying to go for a stomp, but Jack Smith back on his feet, and Eddie Danger going for some kind of hammerlock suplex, but Jack Smith fighting out with some punches. Running neck breaker, great move by Jack Smith. And now Jack Smith locking in this head scissors. Not really expecting Eddie to tap out here. I don't think Jack was either. I think that was just uh, a move that was just for damage there. Great move there regardless by Jack. Now Eddie in control here. Nice arm drag right there by Eddie. You can see Eddie kind of getting warmed up there. Doing a little bouncing around the ring. Trying to get worked up here. Looks like he got worked up a little bit too. Early here, Jack Smith able to get a grapple on, but Eddie Danger able to dodge it, then delivering that nice jumping elbow drop. Now turning Jack over. Trying to get Jack up. Jack with a nice reversal, European uppercut. Nice big punch to the face. Another big punch, and Jack delivering those three big punches, dropping Eddie Danger to the mat. And you can see Jack Smith with a nice elbow drop. Really nice move there. And a nice knee drop. So far, this match has been pretty back and forth in terms of which man is in the dominant control here. I would say that Eddie Danger might be slightly ahead in that contest of who's in the dominant control, but Jack Smith is a close second behind. And you can see right there that Eddie Danger did get that reversal off, but Jack Smith still indeed keeping the offense on Eddie. Going for the pinfall here, he's got one, that's two. But Eddie Danger able to kick out. The minute he heard that hand hit the mat for a two count, he was able to kick out. Great awareness there by Eddie. Jack going for that big punch, but Eddie able to block it with an elbow to the gut of Jack Smith. Then a running German suplex. Going for another move here, but Jack 
Nice reversal. Elbow into the gut. Clothesline sending any danger outside the ring. Now you can see Jack taunting Eddie here. Eddie's on the outside. Jack on the apron. Here comes. Oh, there goes nothing. Looks like Jack just some joking around here. Jack with a great atomic drop right there on Eddie Danger. Not a comfortable move at all. I know that from experience. You can see Jack Smith just slamming his elbow into the back of Eddie Danger after just rubbing his face on that protected mat. These men still fighting out here. Looks like Jack is not done here. Jack setting up Eddie. For a suplex by Eddie Danger. Able to fight out of it with that big knee. Nice shoulder block right there performed by Eddie Danger. Eddie getting back into the ring. Jack trying to get back onto his feet here. But Jack's going to get back into the ring and he makes it back into the ring. Now, if I believe so, if I believe I'm correct, that was a nine count by the referee. Jack had a couple milliseconds before the referee counted for the ten count. But lucky for all of us, Jack was able to get back into the ring. This match will not end via count out. The match will continue inside the ring like it is supposed to. But instead of Jack in control like it was before, they went outside. It has turned into Eddie in control, sending Jack into that corner, facing his front, going for a move there, but Jack able to move out of it. Now Jack gonna show off his boxing skills here with those three nice punches. Pinball attempt here by Jack. He's got one, but Eddie Danger able to kick out. Jack Smith, nice punch to the side of the head. Eddie Danger dodging that kick. Now he's behind Jack and delivering a nice suplex right there. The arms were locked and he just sent him overhead. Eddie Danger pinball attempt here on Jack. Got one, but Jack able to kick out extremely immediately right there. Great move. But Eddie Danger still in control here. Still in the dominant position. Eddie Danger setting up for this super neck breaker. Great move right there by Eddie Danger keeping the dominant control here. For at least a couple more seconds before Jack Smith is able to get up a nice reversal. Back body drop. Going for the pinfall. He's able to get one, but Eddie Danger able to kick out. Now Jack Smith back in control. Delivering some nice hard elbow shots. Jack getting Eddie back onto his feet and now sending Eddie into that corner facing his back but Eddie fighting out of it with a nice elbow to the face and then a big parallel snap mare and a big kick right to the chest. Jack Smith with another nice back body drop reverse another pinfall after the reversal here. Directly going for the pin he's got one he's got two but Eddie Danger able to kick out there. Great big punch to the side of the head right there performed by Jack Smith now turning Eddie over so he can slam his face into the mat. Now turning Eddie over again. What's Jack got planned here? Jack, he's going to scale the turnbuckle here. He's up there on the top rope so he can deliver the great big leg drop. Did you see the, did you see the height on that leg drop? Snap there there. But Jack Smith keeping Eddie down to the mat here. Nice shoulder block right there performed by Eddie Danger. Jack Smith nice reversal there. Elbow to the head going for a slam here. But Eddie able to reverse. German suplex right there on Jack been a very technically proficient matchup here by both men a great matchup here by both men here comes Eddie Danger with the great move right there back suplex power bomb a great move here performed by Eddie Danger great big knee to the side of the head as well 
AD Danger keeping control here, or at least for a couple seconds, as Jack Smith able to reverse European uppercut. Here comes Jack Smith with that great DDT. Jack going for the pinfall here. He's got one, that's two, and that's three. Congratulations to Jack Smith for winning this matchup. Hard fought matchup. A great, technically proficient matchup. An excellent one. But in the end, regardless of the big moves and the big spots that were performed here throughout the night, it only took that implanted DDT to finish off Eddie Danger. But Eddie put up one hell of a fight, and he's got nothing to be ashamed of. And here you see the ending of the match, that impact of the DDT, and then the one, the two, and the three. Ladies and gentlemen, here we got Jack Smith still gaining more momentum for his match Sunday at SmackDown. Look, Eddie Danger going for the attack, but Jack dodged it. The fists are raining down. Jack with a nice clothesline sending Eddie Danger outside the ring. Now Jack's got even more momentum heading to Sunday. Jack is on his game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move in to our main event of the evening. The Superman, Danny Myers, is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Ace. And this match is our main event, and it's coming up next. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here comes our first competitor, here comes our first wrestler. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Ace. God, I wonder what Ace is thinking here, going up against Danny Myers. Danny Myers, um, let's just say he's not exactly a happy Superman. I haven't really been the happiest after losing to, uh, to the world champion Beast. At the Rising, getting another chance Sunday at SmackDown. But if he needs to win this match, if he wants to win, he's going to need all the momentum he can get. And that means he's going to have to run through Ace. And I think Ace knows that. Now here comes the number one contender, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at that fist that he's used a hundred times over. But that Superman punch... And here he comes now, walking down to the ring. Danny Myers needs this victory. He needs all the kind of momentum he can get walking in to SmackDown Sunday. Gotta know he's gonna have a heck of a fight to go against Beast. Now he's faced Beast before, and he's lost that match, as I've already stated. So he's gonna need more momentum. He's gonna, he knows what he's getting into. He knows how strong and how powerful Beast is. He's gonna need every little inch of everything he can get. So the best thing for Danny Myers here is to win this match effectively and quickly. Quickly to avoid any kind of injuries. And effectively will obviously gain more momentum and maybe just maybe put a little bit more fear into the Beast. And we can see Danny Myers starting off the match aggressively with that nice Uranagi slam. Some nice elbow drops right here delivered by Danny Myers. Now Danny setting up Ace. He's got his hand on the bicep. He's now stomp on the fingers. Of Ace. Now that really won't end any matches. But that will definitely cause a little bit of, well, let's just say mental stress. That's more of a disrespectful act than anything else. It looks like Ace has taken control here as he applies that great suplex on Danny Myers. Ace locking in the shoulder claw on Danny Myers, but Danny escaping very quickly here, sweeping that leg. 
Now ascending Danny into that corner. Nice spear in the running corner. Now ace. Great power bomb right there. Danny might have a nice punch to the face. Getting Ace off him for a moment. Nice reversal. Now you can see Danny Myers raking the back of Ace. Another move. Not going to win any matches. Not going to do a whole lot of damage. But another disrespectful kind of move. Danny Myers with a great elbow drop on Ace. Nice move right there. Belly to belly. Now look at this. Ace just getting sent right into the canvas face first. Got to say, Danny Myers is much more aggressive than we've seen him before. Much uh, much more powerful, I suppose, would be a good way to describe it. Ace with a nice hot shot. Sending Danny to the outside of the ring. Danny on his feet immediately with a nice reversal there. Elbow into the face. And here comes the second and the third elbow. And here comes the fourth elbow. Great four big elbows right into the face of Ace. These men have got to get back into the ring if either of them really want to win this match. Truly, this match is not a, well, a Falls Counts Anywhere match where you can just roam around the entire arena. You need to win this match in the ring. Now Danny Myers getting back into the ring and now getting out of it, resetting the referee's count. Referee's going to have to start back at one here. Great big knee right there. Man fighting all the way up the entrance ramp. Great big slam right there performed by Danny Myers. But Ace blowing off Danny. Ace, big punches to Danny Myers, slamming him on the entrance ramp. Now you can see Ace running back to get into the ring. Oh, and you can see Ace doing some showboating here. Now Danny Myers getting back into the ring, and the match will continue how it was intended to. But this time Ace getting control here. Another nice turnbuckle spear into that great corner. Look at this. Ace with a great stomp right on the chest of Danny Myers. Danny Myers with a nice fireman's carry. Danny Myers just slamming Ace's face face first into that canvas. But Ace not gonna take that line down as to deliver the great knee into the throat of Danny Myers. Pinfall attempt here by Ace. Only got one before Danny Myers was able to kick out. But Ace still in control here, delivering two nice elbows. My correction, three nice elbows. Ace going up to the second rope, turning around, looks like he's gonna go for an elbow drop here on Danny Meyer, the great move right there by Ace. Now Ace setting up for this great, great suplex here, very innovative offense here by Ace. Pinfall attempt here by Ace, he's got one. Danny Meyer's able to kick out before the three count. Quick kick out there by Danny Meyer, that's what he's gonna need Sunday. Oh, look at that. Danny Myers, he just tanked through that big kick by Ace. Went for the clothesline, but Ace had it scouted. Hit him with that nice arm drag. Ace with a little bit more showboating here. Oh, look. Danny trying to get up, and Ace just kicked him back down. Now Danny Myers back on his feet. Just so he can get sent back down with Ace in that single knee gut buster. Nice running elbow drop right there by Ace. I think he hurt himself a little bit there in the moment. Oh, and look at that. Once again, Daniel Myers getting up just to be sent back down almost immediately. Ace 
delivering three great elbow shots to Danny Myers. Danny Myers has got to find some way here to gain control back. Oh, look at that. Wheelbarrow face buster right there performed by Ace. Oh, look at this. Here comes another suplex being held by the abdomen. Great move there by Ace. Now Ace getting up Danny. Danny's got to find some way to fight off here. Danny with the reversal. Irish Whip sending Ace outside the ring. And now Danny following here. These guys have already been outside the ring once. These men have got to get stay into the ring. Oh, looks like that's what Danny's doing. Danny not wanting to play this match outside the ring. They're going to go back into the ring. Nice leg drop there by Danny Myers. Now Danny getting up Ace. Ace on top of Danny's shoulders. And Ace has just been hit with that great fireman's carry neck breaker. Nice billet elbow to the back of the head of Ace. Danny Myers now getting in that corner. And he's getting ready for it, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the fist caught. It's aimed. He's measuring Ace. And here comes the Superman punch. Picture perfect. And it hit dead center. Pinfall attempt here. Referee going to go for the pin. That's one. That's two. And that's three. And here is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Gaining more momentum heading into his match Sunday against the IPW World Champion, Beast. The winner via the Superman punch as always, Danny Myers. Had a great match here performed by both of these men. A lot of action here between both of these men, but in the end, it looked like this is all that was needed. The Superman punch knocking out Ace and giving Danny Myers the one, the two, and the three for the victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this match is over, and here is your winner, the Superman, Danny Myers, gaining more momentum, heading into his match against Beast at SmackDown for the IPW World Championship. Now, we hope you all enjoyed this episode of IPW, and we will see you all Sunday for SmackDown.